Hey, it's Andreas. I've been investing for over 10 years and in today's video I have some good news for you on the MPW steward situation. I will also talk about what this means for us as investors and we'll take a quick look at the short interest currently as well. So we received some news regarding the court process here of MPW versus steward health. It seems that there quite good on the way of having everything cleared. We have US bankruptcy judge Christopher Lopez sanctioning an agreement here between Steward and MPW and it follows some previous good news as well. But the settlement here resolves a contentious dispute between Steward and MPW over the division of future sale proceeds. So basically MPW waves, they will not have to collect some uh, lease obligations here, allowing Steward just to transition the hospitals to new operator. This is not the final saying, as we can see here, Lopez is now expected to decide on granting final approval for the deal later this month. So this is just the news before the news, so to say, but <coughs> That's enough to make MPW jump and we will see if it's enough to drive out the shorts as well in this case. I think it's very important to point out a big bonus for those of you who stayed to this part of the video that when they had the quarterly earnings report, one of the contingents on increasing the dividend was that the steward situation was resolved and MPW was restricted to only paying eight cents a share in dividend until a certain date in 2025 or until this situation has been resolved. So for now, it looks like this situation will be resolved a lot quicker, potentially by the end of this month, everything done and over with. And then we will see that the new operators here, they're getting some leeway, they're getting some sweet deal here with being eased into the uh, the transition here. So MPW has agreed that cash rent payment for the 15 properties will defer until the end of the year. So not collecting rent in the beginning, let them settle in. And then after that, payments are expected to start reaching about half of the fully stabilized rent by the end of next year and then full stabilization by the fourth quarter of 2026. So just increasing it slowly on a longer term rent. So we will not see a big jump in earnings straight away. It's going to be gradual. It's going to be a grace period in the beginning, letting them settle in, starting to operate, starting to get some profitability. And then starting to collect rent here at about half the pace in the beginning of next year. So a very nice result in my opinion we did not get any of this this uh, juridical stuff these court battles between steward and mpw here potentially it could have been a very drawn out situation with lots of litigation and it's just a bad bad situation for mpw in that case if they were to win well steward is in bankruptcy basically and there's a ton of people with claims on their assets and it's very unlikely that they would be able to recover anything recover rents recover the cost of litigation and even if they win in the court case it's a bad deal because they might not be able to claim you know what the judge grants them with the financial situation here so just getting out of the situation getting new operators and being able to start collecting rent and stabilizing i think that's the best outcome we could have hoped for as investors and it's a very bad outcome here for shorts. We can see that short interest of float has increased since the last time we checked, it was 30 something. However, we can see that the dark pool volume, the off exchange short volume has decreased from 70 something here to about 50% something. So a short interest increase from just the normal float and a decrease in the dark pool. So we've seen some shorts exit altogether, 
and I think that these news will force more shorts to exit since the risk to reward ratio in this case is not as attractive anymore from a short perspective. There's not as likely to be a very costly litigation process going on back and forth between Steward and MPW in this case. It looks to be solved, so just fantastic news in this case. And with that, well, a stabilization here and starting to pay higher dividends, it's going to be very expensive to keep shorting this stock if everything just resolves nicely. Perhaps we're going to see another short and distort attack here from the, uh, the short sellers. Perhaps a last desperate attempt to drive down share price, but... For me, I think that the buying opportunity here on Medical Properties Trust is about to be over. I think we're going to go back to normal share price here. And in the coming year, I think that this stock definitely has the potential to trade at around 11 to $12 a share. And the dividends, I think, also will increase now going forward once this is finally settled and the restriction of $0.08 cents a share is no longer in place. So some good news. Happy for the shareholders. That's been it for this video. As always, hope you guys make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye-bye.